A day of demonstrations and clashes on Portland streets. Opposing groups blocked by lines of dozens of police officers. Groups taking over roads, blocking intersections, and at one point shutting down Pioneer Courthouse Square this afternoon. Welcome to Coin 6 News. I'm Emily Burris. We have team coverage on today's demonstrations. Our crews have been spread out all across the city for hours this afternoon. Right now, our Jennifer Dowling is standing by live in downtown Portland with the latest on some of these demonstrations. But first, we want to take a look at how officers tried to keep things from getting ugly today. At noon, crowds began gathering near Chapman Square. What appeared to begin as a rally with drinks, music, and dancing quickly turned into a march. Hundreds began blocking streets and intersections downtown, trying multiple times to reach the waterfront and Pioneer Courthouse Square. Portland police flanking the crowd on both sides, blocking their path and telling the marchers that without a permit, they needed to turn around. For more than two hours, the crowd wound its way through downtown Portland, reaching the waterfront, then setting their sights once again on Pioneer Square. That is where opposing groups finally met, facing off across an intersection blocked by lines of police in riot gear. After officers once again tried to disperse the crowd, smaller groups began to break off, some getting into violent scuffles. So at that point is when Portland police shut down Pioneer Courthouse Square, calling it an unlawful assembly and warning protesters they would begin arresting anyone who did not disperse. We want to turn now 